So round two then. Well, if Chitalada's relying on durability, he could be possibly paying a bit of a penalty there because you don't hang your chin out with a puncher like Magri in front of you. This is a little bit of the old Charlie Magri. There's no spark missing so far, Jim, is there? Yeah, so it's, this is the only way Charlie's effective. If he moves forward and throws a lot of stiff punches. I worked with Charlie in the gym, and it's surprising the power he can put into his punches for an eight stone man. But uh, that, that is his asset, and he has to go forward and let his punches go. If he stands off, he'll end up in trouble. A little short right hand there made his knees buckle a little bit. though Chipolata kind of welcomes the fight as well though I don't think he'll be found wanting at that game settle down now a bit Jimmy yeah, we're probably each hoping for a big win in the first round. When it didn't happen, then they settled down, start thinking about the, the 12 round distance now. But they're still a good pace. I think there's a few odds players around here who might say, I'll take that if it won't go 12. Either way, because they both look a bit formidable, don't they? It's, uh, the stamina's going to come into it now, and the will to win. And it to go in the second. Shot there by Magri with the right hand. He's doubled up the punch well there. Well, he's, if he's got steel in his jaw, he's got to show it to Talada because this is Magri at his best. He's really fired himself up for this one. I hand it to him. chance isn't there Jim that this Thailander was a great fighter at the kickboxing thing which is you know only in Thailand and he's not all that as a great champion in this game who knows yeah well he may not have the natural rhythm of the uh, natural rhythm that a boxer has because he's used to using his feet and his feet maybe end up in funny positions but see, I don't think Magri will hit him harder than he did with that right hand that was a beautiful shot and unfortunately it didn't shake Chitalada too much but it's a lovely punch So between rounds there, the referee actually collects each judge's score for each round and hands them to the adjudicator. So in this case, is Ray Clark from Britain and Mr. Martinez from Spain, the official. Let's have another look at it, Jim. Yeah, well, I hope we can see that little right hand because it was a beauty. It was bang on the chin. Bang, yeah, that was a lovely shot. Bang on the chin, but it didn't shake Chikarada too much. He's back on his bike, he knows where he is, not trouble too much. I think he has a strong chin right enough. And again here, as you say, we get the shot again there. And he's holding his hands up well, Magri. Bang, good shot that. A lot of fighters would have gone down from that. He's a steel-like little Second fellow, I'll tell you that. Round three. Round three. And this World Championship scheduled then for 12 rounds. Being shown around the world, back in Thailand and several other places now. And of Frank Warren had to gamble to give this fellow about £100,000 to come and defend the championship against Magri. And they got a bit of help and uh, was sponsored by Tourberg. just wondering now whether Chitalada has really taken Magri a bit too lightly having only seen him on a video once on the other hand he, he's still a capable fighter he absorbs some good punches hasn't he 
Yeah, well, he hasn't got ruffled at all. He's never been upset. Oh, good punch from Chetter. Had a good left hand. And he's blamed him for pulling on there, the referee. He gave Maggie a little bit of help there. He did pull him on too, but I'm um, glad to see Marty Denkin spotted that. That's the thing now for Maggie. Bob and Weave get inside the long arms of the champion. Can't keep the head static. Teeing off with the right hand, to the yeah. a lot, isn't he? Yeah, thankfully, Magley's catching them. They're not getting through cleanly. But, uh, if any of those get through, I think Charlie will kill them all right. Started a punch a bit hard in the third, though, isn't he? <laughs> now changed a little bit to Southport to try and confuse Magley. No, back orthodox again. Slipped in that corner there. With some of the water on the canvas from previous fights. What a good little flyweight battle this is. Can't go 12, Jim, can it? No, I don't see it. I don't see it going 12. They're both letting big punches go all the way through. Champion wants to get involved a bit more in the fight now. He realises he's got to fight Magri off a bit. He can't let him die at him all the time. At the end of the third, and a punch after the bell there that Magri, well, on the bell anyway, that Magri. And around four then. And it looks like Chitalada's going to try the long pot shotting punches. Oof. I tell you, Jim and I can feel them from out of the ring for little fellas. They're digging a bit hard, aren't they? Chetalada gets through a couple of good punches there. Chetalada is ready now. now. This is when, according to trainer Atkinson, he can let them go for a minute at the time once he thinks he's got a man on the hook. His perpetual motion. Charlie's overcome it well. He was under fire a bit there, but he's standing his round. Doing a good job, the referee, Jim, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's keeping out of it, and he's warning them when they actually do something wrong. He's not just buttoning for the sake of it. Like, Charlie took some good punches and can firing back, so that's good to see. All oh, those winging right-hand punches. The, the wind of that nearly. He looks as though he's cut too, Magri. I don't know where that happened, it must have been when they were bundling in there. Ooh. The corner were working on that between rounds, that's the first time it's really noticed. And he staggered Magri a bit, he's got, looks as though he's got a bruise and a cut over the left eye. Charlie's lost his rhythm a bit here, I think. All oh, those right hands, he's really pulling them from the back from nowhere and throwing them. Magri just complained a bit there to the referee that something was happening. Minute to go then in the fourth. He's fighting a brave battle though, Magri, but he's well under fire, Jim, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's coming off worse than this exchange. Uh, he's getting knocked back with Chikaladis punches, and his punches aren't having any effect at this stage. Strangely enough, he very seldom seeks with Magri, cut actually. So it just shows you the accuracy of these punches. He's a sharp little hitter, isn't he? No, it's become an uphill battle for Charlie Magri now. Although it doesn't always mean if your face is bloodied, you're losing the fight. But in this in this round, he's had a bad time. What a great battle he's putting up, though. He's not giving an inch. And 
Everton's friendly pat there at the end of that round, but that armistice won't last long. 